Hey, what's up, guys? As you can see, I'm in a new background today, and that's because, well, it was actually pretty nice outside. Today, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to make private disk images. So say you're a business owner or you've just someone who's got files that they don't want anyone else to see. Sure, you could all just throw them in one folder, like these financial documents here. Right click get info and give no access to everybody. But what if you, you only have one login account on your computer? That won't work. So what we do, we go down here into disk utility. Now if you don't know, now if you don't know where to find disk utility, you go into your applications folder. Let's go right down to the bottom and we see the utilities folder. Inside utilities, once it loads up, is disk utility. So double click on that to open. Now up here, you're going to see new image. Create a new empty disk image. I want you to click on that one. So give it a name. We'll call this like I'm yeah. Now name your disk image, so that's just the name of the removable drive. So we'll just call it, like I'm yet, removable. Um, now, encryption. This is where we get to the private stuff. So if we click on encryption, you see it's got none. You can do 128-bit AES encryption or 256-bit. I just use 128-bit because after all, this is only personal encryption. Um, partitions, you can partition it differently. We'll just leave it as the normal partition for now. And the image format, read and write disk image, um, DVD master, or sparse disk image. We're going to click sparse disk image. And after we've done that, make sure everything's correct. Select your save location up here. So we'll just save it to, we'll get rid of that. Save it into the documents section. We'll click create. Now we'll start creating your disk image and it will ask you for a new password. We'll just use testing one, two, testing. Testing one, two, three. Make sure to type that in twice. And now here, remember password in my keychain. If you leave this tick, it defeats the whole purpose of having a password protected disk image. So remember to uncheck, 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 remember password in my keychain. Now to create your disk image, and as you can see down here, we got likeamier.spiles image and likeamier removable. That's the disk image name I was telling you about before. So after we've done that, we can quit disk utility. And as you can see up here in Finder, in our Finder window, we've got our likeamier removable. You can rename this at any time. Just right click rename. And you can just call it testing. Now, this financial docs folder with all our financials in it, we don't want anyone else to see that. So we're going to not drag it from there. We're going to remove it from our sidebar for a start. Then down here into documents, we've got financial docs. Click and hold and drag that folder into testing. Now it's in testing. Go back into the documents folder. Delete that old financial docs folder and then you can eject the testing disk image or whatever you called it. Now back here in documents, you'll see here we've got our like I'm yeah dot spars image. Size is 9.6 meg, and um, as you can remember, it can hold up to 100 meg. So if we double click on it, here you can see this is where our encryption comes into play. So if we just type in our password, and you can click show password. And if you click remember password in my keychain, it will defeat the whole purpose because I'll show you. OK. Each time you double click on it, keychains already remember the password, so it will just automatically do it. So as I was saying, never check remember password in my keychain because anyone will be able to get to this disk image. So click OK after you've typed in your password. And here you go, testing financial docs. Um, we'll just open text edit. Fucking spell. Just to show you that we can actually save to this file. So we call it testing file. Go command S. Click on here. Save it as untitled. As you can see, we can still save to this disk image. So guys, I hope that helped you. If you're a teenager and you've got files you don't want your parents to see, or if you're a small business owner and you don't want anyone to see your financial docs or just any personal files you've got, here's how to do it. Check on the image and you'll be set. I'm James for Like I'm Yeah. I hope you like it. 
If you've got any questions, leave them below. I will have a video Friday showing you how to remove um, remove the password from Keychain if you left it checked. So watch out for that on Friday. Until then, I'm James, and you've been watching Like I'm um, Yeah.